Here we have a USB 3.0 drive that came in for data recovery. Customer said that someone else worked on this drive and they were not able to recover data. I do see a repair attempt on the pins here, on even solder blobs. Let's take a look under the microscope to see what's going on. Before we proceed with the repair, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler. With more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication, PCBWay is committed to meeting your PCB needs. They offer quality, on-time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards starts at $5 with 24 hours turnaround. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. Oh yeah, so we do see a repair attempt on those pins. Now from the looks of it, I see two missing pads, the second and the fourth one. Let's check quickly. This one looks good. This one looks good. Solid, 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 loose. This one is solid and this one is loose and this one is solid. So for the most part, most of the pins are connected except for those two. I do not see an obvious trace. We're going to have to remove the socket and see if we can figure out where that pin connects, the second and the fourth one. The first thing I want to do is apply some low melt solder. Oh, look at this. The, the lug is gone from the back here. Let's see if we can pry that connector away from the board by just applying some low melt solder on here. Okay, so the connector is out. So we have two missing pads and we have a partial pad here. And right there, now we can tell. This pad connects to this trace here. And this pad connects with this trace here. So now what we're gonna have to do is run a jumper wire to recreate this pad and this pad. And then we're gonna clean the USB socket and attempt to solder it again. Hopefully we are able to read files for the customer. Just a moment. OK, 
Okay, so we're gonna run a jumper wire to recreate that pad. We're gonna make it a little bit long so we can see it when we connect the USB socket. Let's clean up a bit. It's making a solid connection and this one is making a solid connection. What we can do is add an overcoat layer on top of the wires so they do not move. Just gonna have to wait like five, 10 minutes until the overcoat layer hardens. It doesn't harden with UV light. We just have to wait until it dries out. In the meantime, let's clean up the USB socket. Just a moment. We see the, the leg is broken from here, but we do have another one here, so it doesn't really matter. One leg is enough. This is not a beauty contest, so we don't have to make things look pretty. All we need is to be able to get data from that drive. I feel like we may have to use another socket, but I'm gonna try with this one and see how we can do. So I'm gonna put the socket back on here. Okay, so that's good enough for me. I'm going to press it down while we start soldering the pins. I'm going to pre-apply solder onto the soldering iron tip because I do not have three hands. One hand I'm holding the connector down and the other hand I'm going to be soldering. Okay, now that we have three pins connected, I'm gonna press down with the tweezer and solder. I wanna make sure the pin is making a good connection with the pad. Like so. We need more solder on the tip. Okay, now this is the one with the wire.
the pin is moving with the wire and that's good. And this one is good. Now we have to do this one. And the pin is moving with the wire, that's good. And finally, we have this one here. Now, I know the pad on this one was partially ripped. So we still have this little tiny pad on the front here. We want to make sure it makes a good connection. And it's not. It's still moving. Let's apply some more solder here. Good. Okay, so let's see. Pin number one is solid, pin number two is solid. Pin number three, we're gonna have to make it more solid. Pin number three is solid. Pin number four is solid, pin number five is solid. Pin number six, the one with the wire. It's moving along with the wire, that's good. It means the wire is soldered onto the pin and that's what we want. This one is good, this one is good, and this one is good. I just want to cut the wires from here. I do not want that wire to go under the chip and make unwanted connection. So you just want to make sure it's not touching anything. Okay, very nice. Let's test this one more time. Pin number one is good. Pin number two is solid, 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 solid. It's moving with the wire, that's good. Solid, it's moving with the wire, and solid. Now, I'm just gonna solder one of the legs of the USB socket right here. So the USB socket does not break on us. This will just make it more secure. Okay, so all is left to do is to try it. Yes, it's working. A lot of files on this drive. A lot of files on this drive. Drive is working. And right over here. So if we... Hey, Ken, how are you? Just a moment. Okay, so these are the customer files. I'm gonna unplug the drive again. It's gone. Let's plug it back. Awesome, awesome. Let's wait for the drive right there. Great. Okay, so uh, I'm glad this worked out. The job is done. This drive is for the same customer that came in yesterday when we were fixing the iPad Pro 12.9 inch and he said, if you can fix this for me, I'm gonna get you more business. So his drive is fixed. That's it, customer's gonna be very happy. And I hope that you were happy watching this video as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.